You sure do like to To your opinions talking big like Somebody's listening Nobody's listening Max! 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 Oh! 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 Hello and welcome to my abode, my movie room. It's just my bedroom, just with a big TV in it. It's a nice TV. I bought it a few years ago. It does 4K, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, uh, HDR, all, all the fancy names you can think of in a 4K TV. It has it. It's a really good TV. Anyway, I watch films in here sometimes and it's been years since I did an episode on Movie Monday. In this room, I normally just watch it on my computer. Watch it, watch a dig digital version of the film. But I got this whole collection of films here. Why has it gone so blurry? What's going on? But I've not done an episode in here in a while. <laughs> that's that's the point. So I thought, well, what better excuse is Dead and Lord of the Rings, which looks incredible in 4K. I do still watch films in here. It's just that not for a video, not for a while. But anyway, um, I thought I'd introduce you to my collection again because it's been a while, it's a bit dusty. The TV doesn't look too dusty, it's nice and shiny, but uh, it's a bit dusty down here. So we got a bit of a nerdy collection here, Infinity Saga from Iron Man to Infinity War, no, Infinity War, sorry, Iron Man to Endgame. Every movie from there. You got Spider-Man movies, um, one, two, three, Tobey Maguire, Amazing Spider-Man to uh, Andrew Garfield, Venom 1, Venom 2, No Way Home, Into the Spider-Verse, haven't got beyond is it beyond or across? I haven't got the second one because I'm waiting for the third one. I don't want to get like a collection. But I got the first Spider-Verse film right there. Um, you can't even see it. You know what? Let me just switch from my face. Also not stacked these ones in a while. But uh, <laughs> you've got an interesting collection of movies there. I need to sort it. I'd like to sort it in different categories. Um, I like to buy, I like to make a 4K collection. Most of these are 4K. Some of these are Blu-ray if they're not available in 4K. Um, that's John Wick at the top. So, yeah, we got some. Uh, we got a nice little collection of films. A nice little collection, limited edition, steel books, you name it. I got some things. Um, as I was saying, with Marvel stuff, we got X Men um, First Class, Days of Future Past, two versions of it. So this is the 4K version of it. This is the Rogue Guy Extended Edition, not available in 4K. Apocalypse, Logan, Deadpool One and Two, Blade. Just the first blade. Um, so yeah, and then you got DC up here. This is the complete series of 1966 Batman. Every episode in that box set and the movie that came out after the after the show, Batman, um, Batman Returns, Forever, and Batman and Robin. The last one, not so great. <laughs> Dark Knight trilogy, The Batman. Then you got. Man of Steel, Batman vs. Man, you get the points. We'll be here all day naming every film. Got a Star Wars collection there. Got war films here. Bad Boys trilogy. Bit of a weird place to put that. <laughs> but yeah, Christmas films up here. That needs to add a couple um, to that section there. Uh, some fighting movies. Some really good fighting movies. Die Hard should be in a different place in this collection. <laughs> that is for sure. Um, you got two Guy Ritchie movies here. Gentleman and Snatch. Mad Max Fury Road, uh, Pacific Rim, then you've got all these monster, monster horror type stuff. You've got Jaws over there, Gamera, Godzilla, you've got so many cool things uh, in there. And then over here, you've got stuff like sci-fi, so 2001 Space Odyssey, um, some Nolan stuff right there, Martian, Predator, Quiet Place 1 and 2. Haven't got free, well, they haven't released free, no they have, day one, I haven't got that. I don't think it's released yet anyway. Uh, Rush Hour, that's what, just Rush Hour 3, don't know why I've got that, because <laughs> I feel like i got a box set as well. Um, and then you got all the kids movies like animated and stuff, and you got Terminator in the middle, <laughs> and Forrest Gump. Where the Millers, honestly, favourite comedy movie ever, I love this one. Hangover's great too, so it's Click, Click is an amazing emotional movie, in my opinion, Adam Sandler's best, aside from that recent one, Uncut Gems. Uh, Rush Hour Trilogy, there you go, there's that. Um, actually, yeah, that's why, because one of these does not work 
um, in the UK. So that's why I got number three. Now I remember. Um, then you got Pixar and DreamWorks, stuff like that. Where's Shrek? Shrek's meant to be here. I don't, <laughs> I don't see Shrek. Oh, there, there he is. Anniversary edition Shrek. I thought I had the second one as well. I do not. Ice Age movies on Blu-ray. Um, Bond 50 year collection. I hate the fact they didn't release a 60 year collection with No Time To Die. It's a, it was a perfect opportunity, they didn't do it. It's silly. Uh, but yeah, there's the ones that are not part of the collection. So this goes up to the one before Casino Royale. Um, so yeah, got Fast and Furious uh, in there as well. Bumblebee Transformers. Um, then you've got a bunch of films here. You can just pause it and check. Um, London's 2012 Games, not a film, <laughs> but it's there. The Godfather, um, the whole trilogy. Uh, yeah, so you got Die Hard, Two Guns, got a, f a few random movies here, and there's what I actually want, Lord of the Rings, the 4K trilogy. I haven't got The Hobbits, but I have got this. And down there, you got box sets, Fast and Furious 1-8, to eight, Transformers uh, 1980, 1986, I can't remember which year it was. <laughs> um, Transformers Collection, I think it's 1-5, to five, or is it 1-4? to four? I think it's one to four. Indiana Jones. No, that's Back to the Future. Sorry, trilogy. That's Indiana Jones. Four movie collection. Planet of the Apes trilogy. Rocky. One, two, six. It's the regular one, not the 4K one. Rambo. One to four. Lethal Weapon. Love Lethal Weapon. It's a brilliant movie. It's a brilliant trilogy. Not trilogy. It's four movies. Lethal Weapon. Um, and then you got Mission Impossible. Dead Reckoning. Uh, that is one to six, I believe. Yes. Uh, you got X-Men 4K, the original three films, so that wasn't part of that collection there. And the entirety of Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is in 4K. <laughs> Breaking Bad in Blu-ray. I've not watched that yet. I'm still pissed by season 8. I still bought that though. Because <laughs> I feel like it would look good in 4K cinematically on this television. But yeah, this television's heard me talking so long that it's on the screensaver now. So it's reminding me that life's good and I should stop talking and watch the film. Let's get on to the extended edition, because that's the only way to watch these nowadays, um, of The Fellowship of the Rings. And The Fellowship of the Ring, sorry. It's time to watch The Fellowship of the Ring, uh, obviously split into two discs. And uh, the next two weeks, obviously, The Two Towers. And the final one, The Return of the King. Not that one, though. That's the theatrical. I would need the extended. Anyway, this is going to be fun. But I know they're long, and I got work tomorrow, and it's past midnight, so I need to hurry up and get this disc in. Does anyone else get really paranoid when they take discs out, especially with 4K? You've got to be extra careful. No scratches, or the movie might freeze. Into this Blu-ray player you go. Brilliant 4K player. And it is going to begin. Here we go. Like, this looks spectacular in 4K, by the way. This is just the intro screen. 12.38 a.m. I do still work in the afternoon, so I'll be all right in terms of that. But I also got to edit this video. It's the night before Monday. So it is It is Monday now. Also, I watch movies with headphones in there most of the time, because most of the time I watch these movies at night, even when I'm not recording. Normally, it's... You know, movies at night are the vibe for me. Daytime is fine, but in the night... It's the vibe. It's the vibe. I need to get like a good lighting system in here. That like, it's like an amb- I need like an ambient light. Or I can just turn the light off, but I gotta keep it on to record this. But, <laughs> it's better in the dark. 12.40am. I'm pretty sure this one's like, the first one, like they get longer as they go. I think this one's 3 hours 45, as far as I remember. But yeah, um, I live in a flat. And I got neighbours down there. Up there. That way and that way so not that way or that way because the windows there is the edge of the flat but that way that way down and up so when i watch movies at night headphones it doesn't sound as good as the actual tv but it's a way to watch a movie as loud as i want without disturbing anyone and i got headphones with six meter wires it's not even that big a room i only need like half that maybe but six meter wires as long as they're not tangled, I can go back as far as I want. I need to have a better setup though, because there's a gap between the bed and the wall back there. So I can't lean against the wall without it being uncomfortable. I need to work on that, but like, this room is so small. Like, I'm sitting on my bed, and... <laughs> like... <laughs> I can't put a chair in there, can I? 
definitely not a sofa. Bilbo Baggins finding the ring in the opening scenes is quite funny to look at because a few weeks ago I watched the Hobbit movies and it's Martin Freeman instead. <laughs> so I, I like, I feel like I should watch those scenes back to back just to like see the comparisons even though it's like not much context in this film but still. <laughs> The, the Hobbit films give context, and yet it's a different actor. I, I don't know, I just find it funny how two different actors in the same universe play the same scene. Obviously, like, they had to recast for the Hobbit movies, but still, it, you, you get the point. Also, I didn't mention Hobbit, when I, was watching, when I was watching Hobbit movies, I can't even speak English anymore. I didn't mention when I was watching the Hobbit movies that um, Hobbit feet are just, they look so funny on, t on the screen. <laughs> I didn't mention, mention this before, but they look hilarious. Um, I know that's how, how Hobbits are, but still, <laughs> it still looks funny to look at, especially seeing from a distance, you see Martin Freeman and with his big feet, it just looks so weird, but <laughs> it's so funny at the same time. I love how Gandalf says, you haven't aged a day. <laughs> the Hobbit movies give this even funny, even funnier context. Nah, nah, mate, uh, after those Hobbit movies that came out years later, he definitely looks a lot older than Martin Freeman in that film. I, I can tell you that. He just said it was 10 o'clock in the morning on October the 24th. That's quite coincidental. That's only four days ago in 2024. Unless he did 28th right now. Bloody hell, mate. This thing is glitching. <laughs> well, that's that's just brilliant. It's like 10 minutes from the end of the first disc. <laughs> There's a common issue with 4K Blu-rays where there's so much data on them because it's like obviously it's high quality there's so much data on them sometimes you just like sometimes they just glitch out and either freeze and you gotta like put the disc back in or it just glitches for a bit then it continues playing or it just skips like two minutes one of those things normally it happens on like some discs are perfect other discs have issues sometimes. Sometimes as well they glitch when you pause and rewind as well. That's another thing I noticed. You rewind a bit too much and it starts going funny. <laughs> and we are back, I think. <laughs> I literally ejected the disc and reinserted it. I didn't even take it out. And thankfully these Blu-rays have a function where you can just resume where you left off. Which is very useful. Went straight in. No issues. So we're okay. <laughs> I was just like, oh, not now, not this. <laughs> not today, for flip's sake. For those of you that don't have the two disc version, um, it ends where they all agree, uh, Council, to support Frodo to take the ring to Mordor. And the very last line before uh, the disc ends, disc one ends, is Pippin saying, where are we going? <laughs> Just that's what that's that's the part where they want to <laughs> end disc one of this magnificent uh, trilogy. We're about to get it. You shall not pass. Sorry, my voice is gone. I'm not even speaking, and it's gone. <laughs> A lot of great memes came out of Lord of the Rings. One does not simply by Boromir, and you shall not pass, obviously. And oh, Saruman. So you have chosen death. The detail is beautiful this looks bloody incredible i mean like i said about most of the scenes in the film i've just finished watching it i that was the wrong timing it's i wanted to have that on directed by peter jackson and it just didn't work um but yeah amazing film um i feel like any of the three films could be could have the right to be the best film in the trilogy like all three films are that that good they're all incredible my personal favourite is the finale, for sure. Uh, but the first one could be the best one. So could the second one. <laughs> They're all just that good. Uh, they created something incredible with this. I'm sure the books are great as well, I've not read them. Um, but yeah, to put this into film is incredible. Even the theatrical were great. The theatrical editions were great as well. Um, but the extended added so much more, for sure. And uh, when they released it on 4K, I just had a good feeling it was going to look great and <laughs> even the regular blu-ray looks great and the dvd looked great as well back then but in 4k it's just bloody incredible on this television <laughs> it is bloody brilliant and uh yeah uh, it was awesome seeing that again so you know i don't even need to rate it you know i i, I give nothing a 10 all right for me nothing is perfect but this is a 9.5 a 9.5 
I don't give many films that high a rating. <laughs> I could go higher, I could go 9.6, 9.9, whatever. But I, I normally cap at 9.5. For me, no film is perfect. There's always a flaw in every film. That's how I always see it. But this is very close to perfection. And I'm looking forward to watching The Two Towers uh, very soon. I'm going on holiday very soon for a week and a half. So I have to record a couple of episodes in advance. So I'll be watching The Two Towers and... Uh, and I keep forgetting the name of the third film. <laughs> the Two Towers of Return of the King I'll be watching very quickly after this day, so uh, b before I fly out summer holiday very soon, so um, it's still gonna take, like, it's still, you, you, you're gonna see them like a week later, it's, it's movie Monday, it's every Monday, so it's, but I'm gonna be recording ahead is the point. And uh, it's gonna be fun re-watching re the other two as well, so yeah. I'm looking forward to that and uh, hope you enjoyed this kind of review. <laughs> um, yeah, this is, this is a series, if you're new here, there's a series where I just watch a movie and talk about it and then give a rating at the end. It's a mix of movies I've already seen and movies that I have never seen before. So, <laughs> yeah, I need to do, uh, I want to do um, the Saw movies next year, I think. Because I've run out of franchises to watch for the first time. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And goodbye. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever.